Florida. And joining us now from Perry, Florida, that you saw in that piece, NBC News correspondent Maggie Vespa. Maggie, good morning. So now as the sun comes up the morning after, uh, tell us about the destruction there in Perry. Yeah, Willie, you can see it behind me. I mean, you saw it in Tom's piece as well, but it really is breathtaking this morning. This is some kind of former store here in Perry, and you can see the wreckage around it. The roof came collapsing down. Um, huge chunks of the building and kind of, of of sheet metal and what have you having been thrown across the parking lot. And there are kind of scattered scenes like this throughout Perry. We actually just saw a truck going by with a bobcat on it. So the heavy machinery that's needed to clean up scenes like, like this is on its way into town, and the sun just rose like five minutes ago. Um, the other issue across the states that have been impacted by Idalia and continue to be impacted is the massive power outages, 100,000 plus in both Florida and Georgia, each with more than 100,000 plus still without power this morning and then a combined sort of 50,000 plus without power in the Carolinas, which is obviously where the storm has moved overnight. So while those power restoration efforts continue, we also hear about the injuries and the sort of concerns about uh, obviously potential rescues that are still ongoing. That includes in the Tampa area yesterday. We do want to point out, I know you heard Tom in that piece asking Governor DeSantis his message to those who are stranded. And basically, we just want to be clear. We checked with our team. There's no official count right now of anyone who's missing in the area. But again, we heard about the rescues yesterday. We knew people were calling 911 from flooded areas. But that being said, we don't know of any sort of needed rescue missions this morning. That being said, the National Guard, again, is in this area, 500,000 plus on the air and in the ground as of yesterday, kind of going through, especially a lot of the areas that were cut off, roads that were closed yesterday, going in to see what they can find, to see who needs help. And again, a key headline, a heartbreaking headline from yesterday, this storm indeed has turned fatal. The Florida Highway Patrol saying at least two deaths, both cases, car crashes can be blamed on the weather. So. A lot of recovery emotionally, physically, and then when it comes to infrastructure, uh, basically lies ahead of the people here in the South as Adelia continues to make its way across the country. Yeah, the cleanup work begins. NBC's Maggie Vespa in Perry, Florida. Maggie, thank you so much.